Welcome to part two of my reaction to 2112 from Rush. I just finished listening to that all the way through. And you guys, life-changing. That wasn't just a good piece of music. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I was sitting there. And I just could not believe what I was experiencing. Like, Rush is good. Their first three albums were good. But this is fantastic. And not just for Rush. I mean, this in the, in the whole world of music, this is utterly insane and I cannot believe that I've gone this far in my life and have not heard this because now I'm kicking myself like this stuff is out there and I had just kind of been dismissing it as not my style how stupid now I got to finish a thought that I was saying in part one you know, in the middle of the song, and then I didn't want to talk over the lyrics and stuff, but I was going to say, you know, only Alex Lifeson could make tuning a guitar sound good. These guys are so overwhelmingly talented, and this takes anything up till now and amplifies it tremendously. Now, the last album, Caress of Steel, you know, it had poor reviews, and a lot of people didn't like it, and it wasn't focused, there was some cool stuff. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed pretty much the whole album. I could see like, yeah, it's not very focused, but man, I'm glad like all the experimenting, all the kind of messing around the different directions. It's like they polished that up. And, you know, at a time when, when their record labels, like you guys are done, you know, give us something mainstream and, you know, one more shot, give us something radio friendly. And they're like, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Man, I am so glad that they had that attitude of we're doing what we want to do. This was intense. And I was thinking the whole time the studio production seemed off the charts in comparison to the, to the last three albums because this was, oh, it felt big. There was so much going on, but it wasn't muddy. It wasn't messy. It was just full. It was tight, sounded compressed and just in your face. And I, I'm not going to lie, I had it a little louder than I normally listen to. And I am so glad it was there. But everything is so clear. Like I could focus in on every single individual part. And it was like nothing got lost. Nothing. And the vocals, man, the vocals soared. And the, the bass was killer. The drum sound always has been good you know neil neil peer has always had a good drum sound but this was just incredibly good and alex oh my goodness now i get now i finally get on the full scale why people say alex is underrated and even on some of my videos, people have said, no, Alex isn't underrated, whatever. Those who know, know. But let's use the term underappreciated. Look at this song and look at all the different styles and the different playing. This guy is a guitar master. The most technical stuff in the world? Absolutely not. But brilliant guitar work? that as a guitarist I have to look at and just absolutely admire yes the tone the the chords the the phrasing the, the choice of notes everything is there is it something that's impossible to play of course not but the point isn't can people play it there are a lot of people that can play very complex very technical guitar stuff but they're not writing it and they're it's not original so there's a lot of people that can look at, you know, the Mona Lisa and they can they can copy it and be like, look, that's not that impressive of a painting. And it's like, yeah, but you didn't do it. 
You're all, you're emulating something. To be the creator and the originator, that is what, in my opinion, makes Alex Lifeson underappreciated. Man, there were some parts in this song where I was caught off guard. I was expecting something. Like it's kind of like at the beginning, I'm going with a head nod and I'm thinking of beats coming in and they delay it a beat and stuff. And that stuff is so awesome. I love that so much. I love unpredictability in music. But it's especially awesome when it's unpredictable, but it doesn't chop up the flow of the song. And I had this throughout this entire piece. There's stuff where I totally wouldn't have anticipated what they ended up doing, but it didn't, you know, botch up the flow of the song. It kept, it kept its musical structure throughout the entire 20 plus or however long minutes. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's so good. What a cool story though, too, right? It's like, you guys, I am genuinely stunned right now by how good that was. This is just a slap in the face to the critics. This is, there's no way that somebody, you know, can listen to this in their right mind and truly say that it's not amazing. Maybe, you know, I'm, I know it's not for everyone and that's fine. But from a musical standpoint, it's epic. It's absolutely mind-blowingly incredible. And I'm genuinely freaked out right now. Wow. You guys, this was so much fun. And what more can you say? The musicianship, the storytelling, it's like this is perfection of what we've seen a little bit of. You know, so we've seen, uh, you know, we've seen Bytor and the Snow Dog, and we had the Necromancer. And so we had some songs that were a little bit longer and tried to incorporate, you know, this storytelling. And those songs are fantastic. This is cohesive. And the, the level of the songwriting itself is so high up here. Man, I, I see why so, so, so many people, musicians as well as non-musicians, hold this band in such high esteem. And I have too from their other stuff. But this took it from these guys are better than average to I've never heard anything like this before. And I'm genuinely stunned. And you guys know me, okay? I, I've been going through this stuff. I'm not putting on this sort of show because, you know, I'm doing two or three rush reactions on my channel and I'm trying to get views and be like, oh, this is so incredible. You guys know I'm working through Rush. And so what I'm saying is because I am genuinely shocked by what just happened. Anyway, I don't know what else to say, you guys. So we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the comments, suggestions, all of the interaction. It's fantastic. Um, I know I've said it before, but I really feel like sometimes I see friends here on the channel and in the comments. I feel like we're all just kind of brought together by the, the epicness of Rush. And it's so much fun. And I'm really looking forward to the rest of the journey. And I thank you guys for joining me for it. So until the next one, you guys, stay safe and have a good one. We'll see you later.